Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everybody. My name is Evan Smith. I'm the pastor at Second Presbyterian Church here in downtown Stanton, and I'm coming to you today for your video devotional. So, as I look at the next thing in 1 Peter, I'll be honest. I was like, yep, skipping over that. And uh, the one after this is another one that I'm like, oh, I'll skip over that. But I realized that I, the only reason I would skip over this one is because it's the one that's like gonna get me in trouble. And, and I don't like being in trouble. I don't like people being upset, but it's still God's word and it's something that needs to be focused on and it's something we need to probably hear. And so with that in mind as a setup, let's hear 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 13 through 17 today. Peter writes this. For the Lord's sake, accept the authority of every human institution, whether of the emperor as supreme or of governors as sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to praise those who do right. For it is God's will that by doing right, you should silence the ignorance of the foolish. As servants of God, live as free people, yet do not use your freedom as a pretext for evil. Honor everyone, love the family of believers, fear God, honor the emperor. So we have to remember, some of Peter's context here. I mean, like this is entirely likely that these people uh, were facing persecution, that they would continue to like be more persecuted, not less. And yet in the midst of all of that, Peter tells the people that like basically the authorities are there because God's the one to put them in place. Paul says a similar thing in Romans. And that because this is the authority, we're to honor those that are over us. In civil government, the call of the Christian is to honor those who are in government, to actually pray for them, uh, to, to want their best. And the idea was that, you know what, if we're going to like have anything to fear from them, let's have something to fear because we actually did wrong. Because no one's going to be able to, you know, punish you if you just do right. So just keep doing right, keep living honorable lives, and, and then we'll have nothing to fear. That was their context then. But now, of course, it's held up. This, these sorts of verses are held up by those who, who love our president and think he's doing an amazing job, and they want to hold this in the face of, of Christians who do not love our president and do not think he's doing an amazing job. And they say, like, he's your president. You have to honor him and pray for him. And, like, you don't get to say he's not your president. But here's the thing. I remember living under the Obama administration as well. And I remember some of the exact same people who now want to hold up uh, President Trump as this terrible man, who then would say to the Christians who didn't like Obama, they'd be like, hey, Obama is your president. And all the arguments are reversed. And it's like people have short memories. And it's like the ones who love Trump now forgot that they hated Obama and didn't honor Obama. Or they prayed that psalm over him that says, may his days be short. Is that, is that honoring your leaders? Like, is that what we're supposed to do here? You know, no matter where you are politically, this is the call of God. The end, the Peter ends this, this little section, fear God, honor the emperor. And by that, he's basically saying we don't have to fear the emperor. We don't have to fear the civil authorities, no matter what. Fear God. Revere God. Honor the emperor. Honor the president. Honor those who are over you. It doesn't mean they're perfect. It doesn't mean you have to go along with every single thing. It also doesn't mean that you can't, you know, protest or do whatever else. All of that's still there, but you can honor them. In fact, one of the big things to me was verse 16, where he says, As servants of God, live as free people, yet do not use your freedom as a pretext for evil. I think that's a whole other day's devotional too that I don't intend to do right now. But yes, we, and it's partly because I've spoken on it before. Yes, we have freedom, but our freedom is not to be used as a pretext for evil. As a, in other words, we respect the fact that we have freedom to the point that we're willing to take limitations on that freedom in order for the greatest good to come about. And personally, I see that in a lot of our sheltering in place and our choosing to remain at home, even though we have the freedom to go out for the sake of others. And so that's where we're at today, folks. Love them or hate them, Trump's the president. We are to call to honor him. If, if Joe Biden wins in November, love him or hate him, then Joe Biden would be the president. And if you'd love Trump, you need to find a way to honor Joe Biden as well and vice versa for everything. Because that's the call of God. And it's how it is. We are to honor those who are in authority over us, to pray for them, to want the best for them, trusting that God is working through all of these things. 
And that is your word for today. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I'm not in too much trouble. If you did, uh, please click the like button, maybe even share it on your own page. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and goodbye.